y'all what's up what's up what's up everybody it is your girl rita and i am here to do a video for you and you and you mm. i'm here to do a video but before i get started you guys i have got to say thank you so very much for helping me and this channel get to 10,000 subscribers. Oh my God, I will be three years old in October of this year and you guys have gotten me to 10K. Can you, can you believe that? Starting out with this channel, videos going out and just having to struggle. And now I'm over 200 and something videos in and I've been viewed almost a million times on all of my, on, with my videos combined. And now I am a 10K. Actually, I reached 10,000 10, while I was in Vegas. When I left to go to Vegas, I was at about a 920 something. And while I was in Vegas, I reached 10,000. And since I've been home, not quite a week, I'm 11,500 or so. So y'all, thank you guys to all of my new subscribers. Welcome to all of my day ones. I appreciate you guys for hanging in there with me. I'm not gonna keep you too long, but I had to say thank you for that. I know people don't like me to talk. Um, um, I've been getting more complaints about being ghetto, um, and about being talking too much and she do too much, but I'm me and I found uh, that that works for me better than anything else. I don't know how to be somebody else and I'm not going to try. So um, I'm going to be me, ratchet, ghetto, loud, singing, acting, whatever. That's, that's, that's who I am on a daily basis. I ain't getting on here with a beat face. Every time I'm not getting on here dressed to the nines, looking good, I'm here in my home doing what I do and bringing you guys along. So thank you for the people that have appreciated that and for the people that's been positive and for the comments, I, I read them all and I apply and I will reply. So uh, you're gonna come on here and get fly, I'm gonna get fly right back because it's just in my nature. I'm ghetto and all, what would you expect? Would you expect anything less? Okay, so that's out the way. I just want to thank you guys. I am just humbled, okay, that you will bring me into your home. Thank you. So today we're going to be doing a dump meal, uh, something very easy that anybody can do, and it can be done in 30 minutes or less. Today we are going to be making a summer spaghetti salad. Now, this can be done so many ways. Uh, you can put so many things in there and you can uh, make it your, your own, you know. This is just the way that I do it. You can follow the way that I do it or you can uh, tweak it and make it your own. But we're going to get right on to it because you're not doing a lot of measuring and going on. You're really just dumping stuff into a bowl and seasoning it and going on about your business. So I've already cooked me one box of spaghetti. This is a one pound um box of spaghetti that I have already cooked according to the directions and I set it in the ice box while I let, uh, while I cut up all my other ingredients and things of that nature. So it is cold. This salad gets better as it gets, gets colder. If you are in a position where when you make this, you can sit it in the refrigerator for at least a minimum of two hours, please do that. But if you can't, it's only just gonna get better if you have some left to put in a refrigerator overnight or eat the next day. It's just gonna get better and better. So let's get to the salad, okay? I'm gonna let you down on the food. I've loved on you and talked to you and um, thanked you for 10,000 subscribers. So now we're gonna do some food. That's what you're here for and I know that's what you're here for, okay? So let's go. Alrighty, so right here, these are the things that I'm going to be putting in my salad. Now, I've got some cucumbers, I've got some uh, cherry tomatoes, some red onions, I've got some tricolored bell peppers, I've got some pepperoni, one bag. Uh, what size is this bag? Child. Why did I get laces? I can't see where nothing, but it's this size. <laughs> Can y'all see that? I've got some pepperoni. And then um, 
I'm going to put me some Kalamata uh, olives in here. I'm only going to put a few because my family is not crazy about uh, Kalamata. They're not crazy about cucumbers either. But I'm getting to the point where I've lived long enough to know that I cooked it. You can eat it or not eat it. It's up to you. I'm going to fix it the way that I like it. You know, I got all the grown people in here. I don't got no babies no more. I ain't got to be not putting onions and stuff. I ain't got to do none of that. You know, I'm just going to cook it if you want it. Let's, you can eat it. It's here. Okay, so let's go. Okay, so we're just going to be dumping stuff in here. Let me see if I have my little thing. I hope that, that I'll be able to get it all stirred up with this. Um, now, traditionally, well, normally I would put butter on here and salt and pepper. But I'm just going to use this, di this dried, uh, drained cooked spaghetti with nothing on it and then i'm going to season it with all of my seasonings because we have some things that are pretty you know that's going to bring flavor and so i don't want this to be a, a a salt fest okay so you have your bowl with your spaghetti and like i said this is a one pound box to this we're going to be adding our diced up uh veggies now like i said this is cucumber cherry tomato and red pepper, uh, red onion, okay? You can use as much as you want. And also, you guys, you don't have to use these uh, veg veg veggies. I've seen this done with broccoli and cubed uh, cheddar cheese. I've seen it done with um, zucchini and uh, what do you call it? Squash. So you can be as creative as creative as you want to this is just what I use when I'm doing it okay so you get this in there you want to start kind of trying to break this down a little bit now what I'm gonna do is my spaghetti trick that I do you guys where I just take a knife and I just go through my spaghetti and just kind of break it up a little bit okay and that's gonna help you stir it down and get 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 what you need to get out of it, okay? So I'm just gonna do that one time because I do like to have sizable pieces of spaghetti in here, you know, but I don't wanna have to slurp it up, you know? <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna put my peppers in here and my pepperoni and my uh, Kalamata olives. Now, a lot of times when you see this recipe, when people use olives, they're gonna be using black olives, but I don't prefer the taste of black olives, and so that's why come I use Kalamata. Now, the um, also the cucumber that I use, I use the English cucumber, um, and that's the one that I choose to use uh, in my cucumber, tomato salad, and any salad that I'm doing and using cucumber, I use that one. It just has a stiffer, um, a stiffer texture to it, and it it stands up longer in the salad. And then I always scoop out that line of seeds in my cucumber as well. That also will give you some um, some longevity to that uh, cucumber. Okay, so we got all of our veggies and our dry things in here. Okay. So now, of course, we're going to be putting a package of Italian seasoning in here. It's one package, okay? Just one of those envelopes. Doesn't matter what kind. I use great value because you know I'm a Walmart girl. That's where I'm always at. <laughs> so you'll see a lot of great value. Hope they'll, uh, I'm at 10000 You think I should ask them to sponsor me? Send them a little... Something, something. So what we have right here is a cup. Well, I don't have much left out of that cup, so I might want to put it on here. But I have a cup of um, Italian dressing. I'm just going to go just like that. Okay. And then I'm going to use some of this red wine vinegar, you guys. I'm just going to do a third of a cup of the red wine vinegar. If you don't have this, of course, uh, if you don't you know, you don't have to use it. Or if you prefer not to put it in, you don't have to. This just gives me a little bit of something different in there that, you know, it just brings out all of these delicious flavors. And it just it just does something to it for me. I got a fly in here. And, baby, if he get on this food, honey, you going to see. <laughs> you going to see how ignorant I can be. 
Now, I'm going to be on the floor kicking like I'm having a temper tantrum. Don't come your butt over here. Jesus Christ. I don't even know how I got in here. My husband is playing dominoes, and I went grocery shopping, and they helped me get my stuff out of the car. And I think he got in here when uh, we were bringing in the groceries. But, baby, when I kill him, he going to know he did. I'm going to kill him so good and so hard. Honey. Because you know they, he, he playing with me. You know, he toying with me and messing with me. I almost made me want to just stop doing what I'm doing. But, y'all, like I was saying at the beginning, if you have time, if you make this early enough and you have time and you can put this in the refrigerator for a couple of hours, do so. If you don't, so what? You know, just go ahead on and eat it. But I would let my pasta sit in the refrigerator while I cut up my other items and things of that nature. So the, the uh, seasonings are definitely up to you. You could add, uh, put some minced garlic in here, but I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to just use my garlic pepper seasoning. This is one of those black tops. This is Clover Valley, and I get this from Dollar General. I don't know if you guys have a Dollar General where you live, and I'm just going to be sp sprinkling to the guys. Say stop, okay? And I'm going to do the same thing with some Italian seasoning, okay? All of this is personal to you. You know, you season it personal to you. You um, choose your vegetables personal to you. But this is just the way that I do mine. That's black pepper. That was Italian seasoning and that was garlic pepper. Okay, those are the seasoning. Now I'm going to really give this a good little whirl going down, bringing it up. I don't like it to be super wet. Now some people will put a whole jar of um, Italian seasoning in theirs you know i don't like it to be super wet i like to have the option that after i fix it and i fix me a plate if i want to put me some veg you know some more um dressing on there then i will but i don't like it to start out soaking wet like that i just i just i just that's just a personal peek a pp a personal preference okay now you see that look how delicious that looks okay and that's it, you guys. You do it just like this. And once you get it all stirred up like you want it, then you add in some delicious Parmesan and uh, Romano cheese, shredded cheese in there. I've seen people, like I said, put cheddar cheese blocks in there. But this is just how I like to eat it, y'all. And this is just perfect. It's a perfect little light meal. Uh, if you don't want to do anything heavy, it's a great uh, weeknight meal, you know. And it's a quick meal, I swear. You know, you're not going to take 30 minutes. Your pasta take about 8 to 10 minutes to cook. And while it's cooking, you're dicing. And when it finished cooking, you put it in the icebox, finish your dicing, clean up your kitchen, and then you get the staring and stuff in there, and you are done for the night. I'm going to taste just a little bit of it, you guys, just to see if I like the flavor, if I like the seasoning. I might want to put something else in there, some more seasoning or some more dressing, but I'm going to taste it. And then you have to do that. You have to taste it, and you have to season, you know. And you're talking about pasta, y'all. Y'all talking, we're talking about pasta. Okay, so I'm going to let y'all get a little bite of it and get a good look at it and tell me what y'all think about it. Let's see. Let's wrap us some pasta up on this fork. Get us some good stuff. And you, you'll you find, too, you guys, as you sit this in the icebox, all of your toppings, they're going to go down to the bottom. So immediately... What I do, I put my top on here, and I shake it all upside down and turn it all inside out and all around. And that's how I get it seasoned like I want it. But we're going to taste this sucker now. You get you a taste first. Mmm. Now I'm going to get from over this bowl so I don't get cussed out because y'all think it's my, my germs going to get in y'all's house. Huh? I'm going to do this. Trust me, me and this family been through all. People in here either came out of me or be inside of me. Ooh, child, I told y'all. <laughs> now, take that to the bank. I mean what I said. Mmm. 
Mmm. Mmm. Mmm. This is so good. Mmm. What y'all look? Mmm. Mmm. So good. So freaking good. It don't need no salt. Like I told you, the um, pepperoni and the, what do you call that? The olive is doing enough salt. I may, I may, cause see, you see down here, I don't have any residual. You see that in that corner? I don't have no dressing residual. So I may pour me just about, I'm gonna do that while I'm on here with y'all, about a third of a cup more of dressing. <clears throat> it's good to me, but I know who I'm dealing with and who I live with, so. Uh, as much as I don't want to be a people pleaser, I am one. <laughs> That's why this 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 channel gets a little to me sometimes because I wanna I want everybody to like it. Okay, y'all. I ain't about to do this right now because it's gonna cause me all this drum. And y'all know I got these arthritic hands and ain't nobody down here, so this is gonna have to do for me right now. Get that from up there. But again, y'all, this is my summer spaghetti. Sally. Yes, honey. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now, I hope y'all will make this. I don't want to be on here long, and I have, hope I haven't been on here too long for y'all. Look at that. Mmm. Open mouth, baby. You guys, don't forget, and you're doing so much better, and I appreciate the ones that remember. Give me a thumbs up on this video. Don't forget to comment. Share and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you like the channel. Don't just come over here and look and then turn it on down. You can subscribe. Go and subscribe to the channel. Go on and add and be a part of the readers either, honey. We have fun over here. I'm a good I'm a good person. I'm a good girl to have in your life. Okay? And that's it, you guys. I will see you guys on the next one. Again, thank you for everything, for all the love, for all the likes. For all the comments, the good and the bad, I appreciate it all. And I will see you guys on the next one when we see what Rita's cooking. See what Rita's cooking. And she's so good. Wait a minute. I said they put you And she's so good looking. I'll see what Rita's cooking. <laughs> I love you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you 10,000 times. 10,000 times, 10,000 times. Okay, bye, y'all. Bye.